Hello and welcome, I'm your Code McKean. The Asset Store is full of awesome tools and assets to help you make your own games. There's more and more awesome stuff coming out every month, so in this video, let's check out some highlights for March 25. In this first video, I'll be covering a list of free assets, and next ones, I'll be covering paid asset and tools. Let me know in the comments if you pick up any of these and what you intend to do with them. And my Code Monkey Toolkit is out right now. It is a collection of super useful tools and elements to help you save time and make awesome games. This is something that I've wanted to do for years. Right now, it includes 40 tools and elements. Things like an input window, an interaction system, multiple character controllers, an error detector, a question dialog, a grid system, and tons more stuff. All of them useful in so many different use cases. And there's many more tools that I want to add. So over time, I will be updating the asset, adding more tools and elements. And as I do, I will be slowly increasing the price. So definitely get it right now. It's the cheapest it will ever be. Also, many thanks to all of you who already picked it up. It managed to hit number one on pretty much all of the asset store lists. So yeah, thank you all so much for picking it up, and I hope you're finding it extremely useful. If instead of tools, what you really need are some visuals, there's an excellent Cinti Humble bundle. As usual, these bundles are a huge deep discount. If just one of these looks interesting, then the whole bundle is worth it. This one contains, for example, the Dungeon Realms pack. This is really awesome for any kind of, let's say, dwarf game. So obviously perfect for something inspired by Lord of the Rings or Deep Rock Galactic. The Biomes pack contains a really gorgeous environment. This would be a great starting point for any kind of adventure, survival game, something like that. If you need some animations, then the base animation locomotion pack, this is really great for pretty much any kind of game. Or the interface sci-fi pack that contains lots of really gorgeous UI elements. You've got all of those, plus a kids pack, you've got some space packs. There's an airport, a really cool construction, a nice dog pack that would be perfect for any kind of game that involves some kind of companion. And you've got a bunch more simple, as well as this really awesome particle effects pack. If you don't yet own this one, then this is definitely a must-have. For just one buck, it is absolutely worth it. And the entire pack, I think, is great. It's about 97% off, so for just 30 bucks, you can get thousands of assets to make all kinds of games. Check it out with the link in the description. All right, so on to the top 10 list, starting off with a really awesome collection of input sprites. These are all kinds of gamepad inputs, mouse inputs, keyboard icons. It also includes Xbox and PlayStation icons. Importantly, this is made to work with TextMesh Pro, so you just include a sprite tag in your text, and it automatically prints the correct icon in between the text. You always need icons to tell your players the controls. Personally, I remember making something just like this, something that puts the sprites in between the text. I remember making it myself quite a long time ago. I think it was for my game Hyper Knights. And I do know that it took me a ton of time and effort. So this repack is indeed extremely useful. Next here, we have an interesting tool to help you generate 3D voxel meshes from 2D sprites. So it does exactly what it says. You fit this tool some flat to the sprites using pixel art. You fit it on the sides, so top and down. And then this tool automatically generates a 3D voxel mesh from that. This sounds like a great tool for pixel artists to take their games to the third dimension. Just keep drawing pixel art as usual. And then with this free tool, you can convert it into nice 3D. Then for a fun, simple character, here's a cute monster ghost. It's a really nice model. This would be perfect for some kind of cartoony, but slightly horror game. Maybe something inspired by Casper the Friendly Ghost. Personally, I really like how this one looks. You've got nine different ghosts. And if you do like how this one looks, you can pick up the full pack with a ton of animations. Next here we have a bunch of street lights. This one is exactly what it says. It's got a bunch of street lights in a nice realistic style. You've got multiple street light meshes to populate your world. So some with three lights, others just one and so on. In total, you've got 10 prefabs of all kinds of variations. These would definitely be ideal for any urban or city environment. And perhaps even better if your game is at night and you have some nice volumetric lights. Just put that, put your game at night, and suddenly everything becomes quite spooky. Then here we have an interesting tool called HexGen. This one is for helping you generate hexagonal maps or levels. It's perfect for turn-based strategy games or tabletop RPGs. You basically define your own custom biomes, define all their tiles, and then just paint them. You can define the height so you can have higher or lower areas, and then just click a button and it automatically generates the entire world. This one is technically titled as demo, but there doesn't seem to be a paid version, so I wonder if that's something coming in the future. But either way, this free demo also seems to have quite a lot of nice features. After that, here we have a nice pack with a bunch of workshop tools. Personally, I love how these look, really nice and rounded, nice colors. You've got eight tools, you've got a screwdriver, hammer, you've got fasteners, and even the toolbox itself. This could be perfect on some kind of co-op mechanic game, so something like Overcooked, but with cars. Or perhaps you can use these to make some icons for some kind of car repair game. It's a really nice free pack, and if you like this one, you can pick up the full one with over 100 objects. Then, if you want to make a prototype of a chess game, here you have some pieces. These are some nice models, you've got all the pieces in various colors. Chess is actually an interesting game idea that could make for a fun beginner project. 
Personally, I've never really built my own chess minigame. I don't really know how to play chess, so I never really thought about it, but I think that would be a fun, nice little mini challenge. You can take these pieces, use it as a starting point, and then go ahead and build a nice chess prototype. After that, here we have another tool. This one is for helping you handle cutscenes. You can create cutscenes for RPG games or visual novels, meaning the ones where you have the character portrait and then some text. So you can define the portrait prefab, you can define how the transform should be placed, define what pose you want, what transition you want. So this one really has a ton of options. And then you can control that logic with some pre and post events. You can do it all without code or integrate with your own code. Up next, if you need some simple low poly guns, here's a nice pack. It is exactly what it says, free guns. So you've got a nice sniper rifle, there's an AK-47, there's an MP5, an M16, and a nice pistol. So you've got five nice guns. You've got the gun, some bullets, and the magazine itself. So this would be a great starting point for any shooting game. Next, for another interesting tool, here we have better folders. This one simply helps you add icons to your folders to make them easier to spot, easier to organize, especially on large projects. I've seen a bunch of tools that do this, although I think usually they're paid and they have a ton of features, whereas this one just does folder icons and that's it. So if you want something nice and easy and importantly free, then here it is. All right, so those are my top 10 free new assets on the NTS store for March 25. There's links all in the description and also check out my own free and paid assets on the store. All right, hope that's useful. Check out these videos to learn some more. Thanks to these awesome Patreon supporters for making these videos possible. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.